Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. Apple just released the iOS 18.1 public beta 2. The update size is about 7.6 gigs as you can see. Now the update size depends upon different things. It depends upon from which iOS version you are going to update. It also depends upon your iPhone. Also, you need to understand this that this is not going to take any extra storage. It is just going to overwrite your complete iOS. So don't don't worry about the storage so if you want to install the ios 18.1 public beta 2 what you need to do is simply go to settings go to journal over here go to the software update wait for it wait for it go to the beta updates and select ios 18 public beta just like this one as you can see and go back and you will see the update i am not seeing the update because i have already updated to this version so in this video i'm going to talk about uh, all the new changes and i also talk about when we can expect to see ios 18.1 public release for everyone so let's begin and let's talk about all the new changes are that are available in the ios 18.1 public beta 2 starting with the very first one are the new connectivity before this this was the only way to uh, turn on and off wi-fi your bluetooth your vpn uh, personal hotspot many other things but now new connectivity controls are available with the 18.1 public beta 2 so tap on this plus button on the top add a control over here and from here you need to go to the a connectivity over here and here are all new widgets as you can see or you can call them controls for wi-fi your vpn personal hotspot cellular data and some other you can add wi-fi from here you can change the size according to your choice you can make it bigger if you want to or make it smaller if you want to it totally depends upon you you can add more that by going into the um, controls again over here let me add to the cellular data and this is how it also looks like and this is how you can add more controls if you want to remove this one i think we are able to remove them too so if i want to remove or you want to remove you can remove them and you can use these connectivity uh, controls just like this one i think this was a much needed and finally it is here with the ios 18 public beta 2 ios 18.1 public beta 2 now coming to if i turn off this wi-fi it will just disconnect to the wi-fi it will not turn off the wi-fi completely many people don't like this but i like this one because it allows to easily connect to the known wi-fi which is a much better option also if i go into the settings and into the control center now there is reset control center option available so many people are facing this problem where they get into a weird ui of uh, trying out these all controls and it is hard to go back to the default one but now it is available just a one button tap on this and you will be able to reset your control center completely it will help to um, make stuff very easily it will save your lot of time and it is also available with the ios 18.1 public beta 2 for the iphone 16 now over here in the camera controls there is selfie option available so that is for the iphone 16 i'm not using that so i cannot show you the demo but for the people who are using um iphone 16 if they update it to the 18.1 public beta 2 they will also get a selfie option in the camera controls by the way what you guys think about the camera control button over here let me know in the comment section below moving to the further um when you go to the settings here is the siri but for the pro models of 15 and 16 iphone there is apple intelligence and siri and now the apple intelligence um, icon is also available in the dark mode also when you go to the accessibility over here face and attention has a slightly change in the color a new icon new color eye tracking has a slightly change in the color with this update also when you go to the uh, display at brightness over here it shows the demonstration of light mode and dark mode and now they are available with the ios 18 wallpapers before this they were there were ios 17 wallpaper now they are also updated so these are some of the changes with the ios 18.1 public beta 2 if i found any other change i will definitely let you know guys in my upcoming videos but for now these are some of the changes that are here 
And if I talk about the release date, and as you can see, the public tool released on 24 September, I'm expecting to see the iOS 18.1 RC maybe on 30th September and maybe beta 6 or RC, I'm still confused about that. And maybe we are going to see the actual re release of iOS 18.1 somewhere around 14th or 21th of October. That is my expected days for the 18.1. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. By the way, I'm using 18.1 and I can easily show you that the performance is quite decent. I have no issues with the performance at all. If I go to the settings and let the battery stats load over here, I want to show you the battery life over here. Last 10 days on this day, as you can see, I used my phone for around 75 to 80% according to this graph and the screen on time is 5 hours and 37 minutes quite a decent screen on time with where i will use instagram a lot video call on whatsapp a bit of a i was doing on uh, windows shopping online window shopping and in photos and some other apps that are running in the background so it's a decent it's definitely not the best one because it is still in um, beta so i'm expecting the RC update or the beta 6 or the public beta 3 will uh, bring a much better battery performance. But for now, it's quite decent. I have no issues at all for now. If I go to the Geekbench score and show you how the Geekbench is going on, because Geekbench always gives us a basic idea about the performance. Over here, as you can see, this is the 18.1 over here. And 23, 22 on a single core, while 56, 55 on a multi-core. I'm expecting a decent performance from here because if I compare these scores with the average one, they are better with the average one. So I'm also expecting a decent score over here. I will definitely test out this update for a couple of days because whenever a new iOS update comes out, it at least takes a couple of days to get stable. So we cannot expect uh, amazing performance or amazing battery life right away just give it at least one to two day it will get better this is how the ios work you need to understand this well that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video before ending this video i also want to talk about many people are um viewing my video watching my videos but they are not subscribing so guys please make sure to subscribe because the subscription number is below 5% and that is a very very bad being very honest so guys please make sure to subscribe also hit the like button if you have any um, person in your circle that is an iPhone user share my videos with them and they are going to help them a lot because I always here to make videos about performance battery life so you guys can get to know about the new iOS updates well that's it from this video and I will catch you in my next video until then take care peace out